his own. But here's here's one thing I'll I'll give I'll give to I've always tell parents when they ask me about it. So I'm gonna run down a couple of kids in the last few years that played with us. Victor Oladipo, Eric Green, Josh Hart, um, Jeremy Grant, Jeremy Grant. Uh shit. Um Jalen Smith from Maryland. Uh shit, I'm missing guys. We've only had one kid that got drafted in the NBA that was a reclass. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I, I think with at some point, here here's what people don't understand is like at some point it catches up, right? But then mm -hmm. here's the other thing with it is when so let's say you're a really good player as a freshman, right? If I'm 19 as a senior and I'm a really, really good senior, right? I'm almost operating on a one or two year window when I go to college. I don't have I can't I don't have a lot the luxury of playing for four years like Josh Hart did and still going the first round. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. the way the NBA works, your age is just as important as your game. You know what I mean? Because right. they just like they evaluate your game, they evaluate your age. And and what ended up happening is after a certain age, they started to say things like, oh, his ceiling, he's he's tapped out or he doesn't have a high ceiling and things like that. So when when you reclass, like you gotta never you ever notice you see a lot of kids reclass and then they reclass up back up because mm -hmm. they need that advantage. Like because if you're 23, you can't tell me how many kids I think every year it might be one kid that's over 21 years old to get drafted in the first round. Right. You know, so eventually you're going to get penalized for that reclass if you're, if that's your ultimate goal. Now, I never, I never look down on a person that says, Hey, I just don't think my son is ready to go into that social environment with 17, 18, 19 year old kids at a high school level. You know, I just don't think he can really deal with that. He's not mature enough. I get it. I never right. knock a kid that's saying, Hey, my son will really struggle you know, in math or science or economics, whatever that's, that class may be, I think he needs another year to work on it. You know, what, what my issue becomes is when you start telling me, oh, I'm going to reclass him because I, I just think, like, he, gonna, he got a growth spurt coming. Right. Or he just ain't – he's not mature enough, not as a person, but he's not mature enough in his body yet. Like, that's the bullshit. Like, at the end of right. the day, what that says to me is you're living through your kid. Right, absolutely. Because if your kid is good, he's going to get a scholarship anyway. Right. Absolutely. You know, that's kind of where I'm with it.